hello everybody in this video I will show you how to define a constructive model like PM4 sand into a flag software so the first thing you need to go to pm 4 sandcucdavisedu or you can just write um, pm 4 sand UC Davis in Google and choose uh, the first option and it will take you to uh, a page in uh, University of Cal uh, UC Davis, um, uh, University of California at Davis, uh, this uh, this page. So you go to BM, BM4 Sand files, you go to this tab, and you will see that there is too many versions. You choose, of course, the last version with the last update of BM4 Sand. And you will see that also they have some uh, explanation of this module and you can actually open it and go through the documents and you can see uh, what parameters you want uh, in your uh, modeling there is like table explaining each uh, each parameters and to, uh, what you what value the default value value uh, that can be used if you don't assign any value to it and it's explain the theory of this uh, constructive model and how they calibrate it also so this t uh, not this table there is another table with um, all the parameters that can be used in this constructive model I can show you here with the primary and secondary parameters so they divided the parameters into uh, two options two categories so this is the primary input parameters and this is the secondary input parameters with everyone defined very well and how you can calculate it or determine it from uh, in 160 here for example the shear modulus coefficient etc so this is very good the pdf file so what is important for us is this dll file so uh, i would like to mention that this file only works for a flag 8.0 it's not gonna work with for flag 8.1 so make sure you have uh, the correct uh, flag or the right flag that this model work on it so it should ha you should have flag 8.0 which is uh, uh, which this software developed in 2016 I believe so or 17 so you download the DLL file and zip it and then you need to save it in this directory so for example let's assume you install flag 8.0 and C in your C drive uh, program files itasca so you go to C program files itasca flag 800 exe plugins model directory and you say you save that DLL file there okay after you save it you should see that constructive model if you go to material and then you go to the model and then you choose user C++ you should see the model that we just downloaded from UC Davis here in your flag software if you don't see it then you you made some mistakes or you didn't uh, save it correctly so you after you do everything correctly you should see the BM4 sand in the flag software that's mean you define it correctly in the software and the software is able to assign this constitutive module to any material that you have here okay and you can actually uh, see how many <laughs> constitutive uh, parameters for this constitutive model it's a lot but uh, if you don't assign any you, you don't have to assign all of these you just need to focus on the primary parameters uh, which is explained in a table as, ex I, as I explained before and if you don't for example if you don't uh, know some parameters the software or the constructive model is going to assume some default value and you need to know what is this default value okay so, so you need to go through that PDF file that I explained earlier and uh, review it carefully okay uh, okay so we are here also if you want to calibrate uh, for example uh, you have some lab laboratory data uh, for some specific type of soil and you want to do some calibration 
uh, of this PM4 cent based on the soil you have, you can actually download this and do some uh, calibration. When you download it, you're going to have two files. One is the uh, is a fish file, and the other file is the project and flag uh, module. So you can run the, uh, you can actually, if you want to modify the fish code, for example, here, if you want to uh, uh, modify the, the, the code to change the parameters to match the results with the, your laboratory data, you can actually use uh, not bad plus plus and activate the fish language by downloading this file and defining this fish language to not bad and then you will be able to see the uh, the fish language of that uh, example here I open the not bad and I can see it now so you can see it and you can change uh, the parameters you want you have to change to match to match your lab data so your input should go on the top here so you have this parameters you have this this one and this you have to change to match your uh, properties so this has, has been done in strain control loading by applying strain rates CSR third element so you can go through and see how they uh, how they build this model okay so this is for that and you can also as I said if you want to open the the project file of flag you can just go and uh, open it in flag as I did here and I run it and you can actually see that you can see the results if you want to plot some uh, history points you can plot and see for example uh, the poor water pressure ratio you can see um, but it's important actually to open to open the not not bad change the parameters and then copy paste it in flag and run it and then you will see that this code is written in such a way uh, that at the end it will uh, save uh, some files so you can obtain the data from these files as a text file so uh, it should be here here this function will create export five txt files in the folder of the project that will contain information for each one of the five elements in five columns number of cycles CSR shear strain and uh, Sigma V divided by Sigma V naught and are you so you can plot these data from these five files and compare them to your laboratory data to do the calibration okay so i hope you like this video uh, please don't forget uh, to like and subscribe and by the way this is available to public it's free uh, from uc davis uh, developed by professor bollinger so it's free to everyone and uh, it's available for public uh, the same thing you can do actually for PM4 silt constitutive model. So you just uh, write PM4 silt UC Davis in Google and you choose the first option. And then you can download the DLL file and uh, redo the same uh, procedure as, as I explained it at the beginning of this video by uh, basting this file into, into uh, C program files, Itasca, and follow this directory. Okay. And of course, you, you need to you need to choose. Actually, sorry about this mistake. You need to choose the last version of the constitutive model you have. So uh, I ignore what I uh, I was explaining on version three. So you need to use the last version, which is 3.1. So yeah, and download the zip file of DLL and paste it here. This is a revision for uh, relative to version three. So with very minor uh, changes include recompiling to run with flag uh, 8 so this i believe this was working from for a previous or old version of a flag so they updated and now it's working for uh, flag 
8.0 I expect that they will have another version soon to make it work for flag uh, 8.1 so let's see and keep checking this page to see if you have uh, a newer version of flag and this doesn't work so you need to update uh, update the DLL file and make and redo, the, redo again the same procedure to make it work for the new version of flag thank you so much for watching and see you next uh, and see you in next video